because I'm short and I want everyone to see me. So good evening, everyone. I'm Teresa Condor from Spire. Uh, as Mark said, I'm the COO, and I'm part of the original team that started the company back in 2012 out of San Francisco. I've worked to build this company every step of the way for the past 10 years, really motivated by the economic and societal impact that we can have with our technology, including related to sustainability. Spire was founded really with the belief that small satellite technologies are on an exponential technology curve. And over the last 10 years, we've really seen that borne out, looking at 10x improvement every five years. And what that means in practice is that very, very quickly, the problems that you can solve from space, the type of applications that you can build, are changing and becoming more relevant and more useful. And to me, that's really one of the big drivers of all of this interest that you see in the space sector today. For Spire, our, our initial premise has been, number one, to collect data that can only be collected from space. And number two is to take advantage of miniaturization and use that to deploy a large constellation. And number three, to take advantage of software. This allows you to upgrade what the constellation is capable of doing in orbit and allows you to dynamically manage and change it in orbit. Let's see if I can change this. There we go. So it's, it's very satisfying to see all, all the work of 10 years starting to come to fruition. We now have a fully deployed satellite constellation. We have well over 100 satellites in orbit. We have a global ground station network, over 350 years of space heritage, well over 500 customers, and approaching 100 million USD annual recurring revenue by the end of this year. Now, for those of you who are not satellite experts, I wanted to give you maybe a slightly different framework of how to think about the satellite sector. We usually divide it into three categories, um, looking at talking, looking, and listening satellites. And these are kind of broadly connected to telecommunications. You can maybe think of Starlink to imaging satellites. This is what people typically think of when they, when they think of satellites. And then to listening. And this is where uh, Spire fits in, where we're using small radio receivers to pick up radio frequency signals. And so within this listening category, where Spire sits, if I can change it, there we go, we're addressing a $100 billion opportunity. And this is using our proprietary sensors and infrastructure across maritime aviation, weather, and space services to fill a really broad variety of use cases and industries, as you can see here on the screen. And we're not just dealing with raw data coming from the spacecraft, we're dealing with this full value chain from the raw data to merge data sets with, with other interesting terrestrial sources to predictions all the way to solutions. And as we go through that chain, it doesn't just increase the new business opportunities that we have, it actually enables upsell and cross-sell with our existing customers. So this is leading us to a customer net retention rate of over 100%. And across this whole value chain, the type of business model that we use is a subscription service model. So really similar to what you're going to see in a more typical SaaS software as a service type of business. Here's our, our Q1 results. Um, really happy to say that we came out on the, the top end of guidance, um, especially related to revenue and, and annual, recurring, uh, annual recurring revenue. And this leads into still strong uh, 2022 full year results, pushing to 100% revenue growth and reaching 100 million annual recurring revenue. Now, the next, the next number of slides that I have, I'm not going to spend uh, a very large amount of time talking about. They're just going through use cases that show you the great variety of things that you can do with a multi-purpose satellite constellation. And Mark and James already talked a little bit about them, but I think this will give you a flavor. These are all actual use cases of, of customers of Spire. And so the first one is related to a whole variety of use cases around monitoring the global supply chain, where we have visibility across all of the seas and across all of the airspace. 
And as you know, this is, this is a very compelling topic today, given supply chain problems that are happening around the world. The other one is related to the detection of illegal fishing and, and monitoring uh, of the fishing industry in general, which I think fits very nicely into the sustainability theme. Uh, this one is related to our aviation data sets and to efficiency of airport operations from tracking to what is happening down on the ground. The next uh, application I want to focus on is hyperlocal weather forecast. This one specifically related to launch sites and so is a, a, very, a very neat use case relevant for the space sector. And a final one here related to scaling of IoT capabilities, taking advantage of Spire's infrastructure. So this one is specifically in the space services category where another organization takes advantage of all of our space infrastructure and capabilities to deploy their own solution. And the final case study that I want to show you doesn't necessarily have anything to do with sustainability, but is really something that shows the benefit of having um, software upgrade capabilities on orbit and a dynamic constellation. And so taking, uh, well, I don't want to say taking advantage, but coming out of the geopolitical situation that is happening currently, we were very quickly able to do demonstrations of GNSS jamming detection and geolocation. And this is using existing assets that we have on orbit, um, processing it using software in a different way. We didn't need to launch a single other thing. And so now we have a whole other market opportunity that we can go after using this constellation, this existing deployed infrastructure. So for, for final thoughts, I want to leave you with the four growth pillars for our company, which is really to invest in sales marketing and product personnel so that we can monetize this existing deploy constellation. The second one is to expand into new geographies and use cases beyond those where we already are present. And then the third one is to move along that value chain from raw data to predictive analytics to solutions. And then finally, strategic M&A. And these four pillars are really guiding us in the future and, and helping us as we, we continue on that path that we've seen over the past five years of substantial year-on-year -year revenue growth. And you can see the actual numbers from our company here on the left. And what I think is, is pretty eye-opening and compelling for the space sector, looking at that chart on the right, which is looking at best-in-class SaaS companies going from zero revenue to 100 million in ARR. And you can see where, where Spire is currently fitting in that curve and where our expectation is for 2022. We as a space company are you know, neck to neck, best in class, with some of the most recognizable names in the industry. And so I, I think I will leave you with, with that kind of chart and, and inspiration for the sector. Great.